Good developments tonight in a story we've been following for you. Last week, we told you about multiple Oklahoma families falling victim to stolen food stamps. Well, now we're diving deeper with new reaction from the Department of Human Services and, unfortunately, new victims. And for the first time, we're getting a look at the Brooklyn addresses where these fraudulent charges are taking place. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale has the new details. Natalie. Well, Kevin and Jolene, DHS tells me now hundreds of Oklahomans have been targeted, combining for a total loss of about a half a million dollars. And unfortunately, this is putting people in a tough position this holiday season. They're taking food away from people that actually really needs it. Snap benefit scammers striking yet again just days before Christmas, leaving Barbara North with a heartbreaking dilemma as she planned to celebrate with her grandchildren. So I had to make a choice, either food or presents. The grandmother says last night she went shopping at Walmart to buy Christmas dinner, knowing she had $116 on her EBT card to spend. But when she checked out... I slid my card. There was only 85 cents on there. We talked with another man today in a similar devastating situation. This morning, he checked and saw what should have been a $280 balance in his account wiped to 35 cents. That was my food for my Christmas. I, mean, I didn't think that it happened to me. The Department of Human Services says they're just two of hundreds of Oklahomans who've been targeted in the last week and a half. There's a whole lot, and they're wiping out every, every bit of the food stamps that are in there. As we told you last week, some of the EBT funds seem to be going to several businesses in New York. An overwhelming majority is, is being spent in New York. DHS says that they trace the suspicious purchases to two Brooklyn addresses. We tracked those addresses down and sent a photographer to the locations. Here's what we found. The first location, Throop Farm Market, was closed. On the awning, there's an indication that EBT cards are accepted. The second location, where the Brooklyn Meat Market has reportedly been accepting EBT purchases out of Oklahoma, didn't seem to be a business at all. It looked more like a house with a storefront. The gate was pulled down and there was a letter visible that said, quote, imminently perilous to life. I can't go into details there on, on an ongoing investigation, but we, we can see every penny that is spent with Oklahoma food stamp. And we're coordinating with the proper officials um, in New York for that. Well, DHS says currently Oklahoma isn't allowed to use federal funds to reimburse these victims, but we do have a list of ways to protect yourself from these scams on our website, KFOR.com.